So this aircraft model was released in the 0304 batch of Harpa Wings, but it was originally intended to be in the 1112 batch of 2020, and therefore it does not have the additional details. Why it still might be worth your time? Well, we'll find out after the drop. that hello and welcome to a new episode of review where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A320 Neo of Frontier Airlines. At the front of the box we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside and on top of that we have the Frontier Airlines branding. The back side of the box unfortunately is a letdown from Happer Wings that continue with their nonsensical box design with another cutout which is not protective of my model and just looks cheap. The only thing of interest here is simply that it is a limited edition. And here she is, the Airbus A320neo in the standard livery of Frontier Airlines with the Flo the Flamingo tail. The airline is known for their creative tail designs where they are using different types of animals. The model itself was supposed to be released in the 11-12-2020 batch from Harper Wings, but ultimately got delayed until the 03-04-2021 release batch. This does unfortunately also mean that the model does not profit from the announced additional details that are supposed to start with the 03-04 batch, but despite that the model does come with a quite significant improvement and we will take a closer look at that and much more but we start off with the tail section. Where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Flow the Flamingo design. On the fuselage we then have the web address of the airline, the full registration code of the aircraft, the flag of the United States of America and towards the tail of the aircraft also a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we then have the Frontier branding and the name of the aircraft as mentioned in this case it is Flow the Flamingo. The cockpit section itself, well, is a mixed bag for me. I'm not a huge fan of the shape of the cockpit. From some angles, it just looks rather strange to me. When it comes to printed details, I mean, we have the cockpit windows and the window wipers. And I don't think it is unreasonable to expect Harper to add a bit more here. But let's move on to the engines because this is really where it gets exciting. But one thing at a time, because first let's take a look at the printed details. Here we have the silver leading edge and that's about it. And I guess Harper even knows that this is just not enough, which is why they from now on in the future would like to add more details. But why not already start with this model Harper, honestly? But the great news about this model is of course that we now have a decent ground clearance. Harper has struggled with this for years. Basically all Airbus A320 new family aircraft models in scale 1 to 500 from Harper Wings have suffered from catastrophic ground clearance and this has been fixed now as they have reworked how they are mounting the engines to the wings. I still believe that the engines are a bit too big but with this compromise they are kind of solving the major issue that has been so far with this aircraft model type. Then on the fuselage just above the wings we have the emergency exits printed on which leads us straight to to the wings which we should also take a closer look at starting off with the top side where we have the different flaps slats and spoilers carved out rather nicely we do also have some different shades of gray for additional detailing as well as the markings for the emergency exit also the underside of the wings look quite decent now the winglets are a bit more of a concern for me because on first glimpse they look lovely with the frontier color scheme and Harper has done well replicating that but when it comes to the angle the winglets have um, there seems to be a little bit of an issue in production on one side it seems just fine and the other side it seems rather steep and i have also the second frontier aircraft model from Harper wings and there we have some of the same issues so it's something you should look out for before buying these models and something Harper should look into with their quality control but moving on and we can take a look at the landing gear. That is the standard landing gear that Harbour uses for all the Airbus A320 family aircraft. When it comes to the main landing gear I'm happy with that. When it comes to the front landing gear I'm not so happy with that because honestly speaking I don't think that looks nice. And then last but not least we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A320 Neo in the Frontier Airlines Flow the Flamingo livery from Happer Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? 
as the very first Frontier aircraft model in scale 500 from Harper Wings, it marks the beginning of a new chapter. Hopefully. I mean, we have already a second model, that is awesome, and I hope we can see many more in the future, and also maybe even more new airlines that HAPA hasn't featured until now. I'm very happy that HAPA has finally managed to fix the ground clearance issue by simply changing how the engines have been mounted. Why it took them three to four years to come up with that solution, I find questionable at best, but at least they have done it now. What worries me about the model are the winglets, especially the angle these winglets have, because I do also have the second Frontier model, and we see a similar issue there, which could indicate that there is a wider issue in production, which HAPA very much needs to look into, and until they have, you should definitely take a closer look at the models before you buy them. Anything else we can say about the model? Well, it's very much a standard A320 from Harper Wings. I'm not a huge fan of the cockpit section, I'm not a huge fan of the front landing gear, but I do very much like the print quality. So the model is far from perfect, but fixing the ground clearance is a leap forward for Harper Wings and should be recognized as such. So I would say yes, the model is worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.